get our material in. It's a, a mild steel and it comes in in 20 foot lengths and it gets cut from that. Then we go ahead and bring it to the forge and heat it up and we usually work at about uh, 2500 degrees. It's drawn out first and after it's drawn out uh, we have a jig that we put on the anvil that we use that begins to set us up for the, uh, the spear end of it. We uh, begin to upset the area where the spear is because we need to drive the molecules of the material back into itself to give us enough material to belly out to create the, uh, the, the spear end of the hinge. Then we reheat that and bring that back and begin to hammer that into uh, the shape of the spear. We then heat up the, uh, the center to make sure that our hinge is straight and sight it. Then we heat up the eye end of the hinge where the pintle is going to go. Uh, we heat that up, bring that out and put that into the jig and bring it around. And then we have a, a drift pin that we put into it to finish out the shape, the hammering. Then we reheat and we put a little offset in the hinge because our pintles are a flush mount pintle. So in order to have the hinge set flush to the door, to the building, uh, we have to put a small offset in the hinge to, uh, to create that space for the pintle. They're all handmade and actually made on the same anvil, same forge, uh, same tools as my grandfather used here in town. I'm the third generation blacksmith in this family. Uh, my grandfather had come over from England and worked right up here in Gilead in the early 1900s and was a blacksmith for Hebron during that time. And my dad grew up in a blacksmith shop and learned from him and I've learned from my dad.